Yo, what up, people? Leo here from Creative Tech Lab, and today is Thursday. We're actually shooting it on a Thursday. We're back with another three minute Thursday, and today I'll try to keep the time as best as possible. Today, we're quickly talking about an issue that a lot of Final Cut Pro users run into using Sony HLG and the picture becoming out super, super blown out. So, let's get into it real quick. So the Sony HLG picture profile is one of the most popular picture profiles. It's my favorite picture profile. However, it does run into an issue in Final Cut Pro because it's a HDR um, picture profile. Final Cut Pro is trying to read that as HDR values and it causes the exposure to be weirdly messed up. I don't fully understand the mechanics of it, but that's my understanding is because it's a HDR picture profile. Final Cut Pro is trying to render it a little bit differently as if it was supposed to be put on an HDR monitor. But there's a quick fix that we could do. So let's put three minutes on the clock and let's show you what the fix is for this. All right, so let's jump into the software. We'll do a screen record and start, put three minutes on the clock starting right now and show you what this quick fix is. Three minutes on the clock starting right now. All right. So these are some clips that I had just from a project here when we're down at Disney. I think this was last year, um, or no, this was from December. Anyway, um, the funny thing is when you first import the clips into Final Cut Pro and you have them in the library bin, they look just fine. The same thing if you have them in on the memory card, when it is that you're showing them on your Mac, it looks just fine. However, if I go here and I hit W to add to the timeline, you will see that these clips look super overblown. I'm gonna just automatic speed so I get a little bit more time and it looks crazy. Now you could go into your exposure and pull those highlights all the way down and you would have a usable image, but you don't necessarily need to do that. So let me just undo that there and show you what the fix is. So what you need to do here is come over to color space override and set that to rec 709 and boom, it's fixed there. Now, one thing I want to say, I set mine to rec 709 just because I shoot my color pro picture profile is set to rec 709 as the actual um, color space. But some people traditionally HLG is a rec 2020 color space. So you could set it to that there and you see it comes out a little bit more contrasty. I like to set it to rec 709 because it comes out a little bit more flat as I would like it and that's the fix. And one more thing as we do have a little bit more time here left on the clock. What I like to do if I've been shooting HLG just all day and I have everything in the in the timeline here, what I will do is just command A for everything, come over to the information field here and then just color space override and reset it there. Sometimes it might look a little bit funny on the clips here, but now all my clips, if I was to drop this particular clip here onto the timeline, then, oops, I did all there. If I was to drop just this particular clip onto the timeline, it would come in and it'd be ready to go. And that's all you need to do there. All right, so that's it. That's a simple one there. This one's actually gonna be short. It's gonna be closer to three minutes. And we were had a little bit more time left on the timer. I'm not gonna to talk too long here so people don't say that I'm rambling and the whole thing is way over three minutes. But that's how you fix your blown out highlights with your HLG profile. And if you're like me, I know the first time that I brought them into Final Cut Pro, I thought that I did something wrong, either in camera or importing or something and thought that it was just done incorrectly. So yeah, once you hit your color space override, then everything should be good to go and you can color grade as you need to. Check out my other video on how I actually color grade HLG, or color grade I should say, HLG in um, for these talking headshots here with Peter McKinnon's, oh, with that guy's lots. And if this video helped you in any way, shape or form, please go ahead, drop it a like, Share it with your other Final Cut Pro friend users or other video users out there if you so please and hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button and I will catch you in the next one, definitely next Thursday and I have a whole nother whole bunch of stuff to do here. So if you like the video, subscribe for more stuff and I will see you in the next one. Peace.